BEA family, Duval family, we have made it. Football is upon us. Buckle up. Week one is here. I am thrilled. I wanted to go over our captains uh, relatively quickly just to give them the shouts that they deserve and to see where you all stand on that and what you think as well. Two offensive captains, two defensive captains, one special teams captain. Each week, Doug will be handing over someone honorary captain for a sixth captain. This week happens to be Luke Fortner. I had just found out recently. Let's ride, Luke. As for the five established captains that we have week in and week out for this year's Jacksonville Jaguars football season, the two offensive leaders, one Trevor Lawrence, two Brandon Scherf. Should come to no surprise to any of you that Trevor Lawrence is a captain once again for this team, face of the franchise, um, the epitome of leadership. I, I, um, I truly have a vivid memory of last year's performance when we lost in that playoff game against the Chiefs, and Trevor was standing there in the tunnel waiting for the rest of his team to come back into the locker room, and he was encouraging them, supporting them. Uh, in one of the most toughest times of his career, he didn't really lose a lot as he was growing up, Trevor. So in one of the most toughest times of his career, when he was facing a very adverse situation, he decided to stay with the team and represent himself as the leader of the team. So once again, should go to no surprise to any of you. Scherf has that veteran presence, feels and looks very comfortable when he's out there as a guard. And um, he was a captain as well when he was with the commanders. So uh, that also should go to no surprise. He was a captain for us last year, and he's going to continue that role this year. I love that we have somebody who's protecting Trevor as a captain, and we have Trevor himself as a captain. Uh, I really like that. I really like that we did that. The two defensive players that we have as captains this year, absolute ball hawk, the anchor for this team, so underrated throughout the league, goes unnoticed, unnoticed so many times because he doesn't have this, right? He doesn't have a jaw that is just going to go and talk. He just wants, he's all about business. And you can tell that from the moment that ball is snapped, from the moment he steps on the field, not even when the, the, the ball's in play. This guy is just about it in every way. The last two years, he has led the league in tackles. Foya Said Aluakan, I have become more and more familiar with this name, and I love the way it sounds rolling off of my tongue. I hope he is a Jaguar for as long as possible. This guy is a leader. In, with any stretch of the word, he is a leader. If you pay attention to Jaguars games and you're watching our defense perform, nine times out of ten, this man is... On the ball, meaning that he's on the ground tackling the person who has the ball, or he is directly around the ball. Somehow, some way, he finds the ball in more than often situations. Foya Said is well deserved of this. Once again, I don't know if it got by you. The last two years, he has led the league in tackles. I would love for him to hit that trifecta, triple threat, triple crown, whatever you want to call it. Let's get it this year, Foya Said. I would love to see you. Lead the league once again in tackles as you are leading us, the Jacksonville Jaguars, to a higher standard. I absolutely love that. Next defensive captain, Roy Robertson Harris. Little fun fact, last year I went to a Jaguars game. They were playing the Texans. It was week three or week four, I believe. Uh, we were we lost 13-6. to six. We didn't score one touchdown. Trevor threw two interceptions that day. One of the most upsetting, discouraging, disgusting, nauseating games I have been a part of. Uh, I was very unhappy that I traveled from New Jersey to Florida to go to that game. Out of all the games that we had last year, that was the game that I got to see in person. So clearly wasn't my favorite experience, but I was sitting directly behind Roy Robertson Harris's wife or girlfriend and children. I thought that was super cool. Right before the game, Roy Robertson Harris came up to us and, uh, us, I'm sorry, he came up to his family and I got to witness that. I didn't say hi to him. I don't, I'm not that kind of a guy that wants to interfere, especially if they're dealing with personal, you know, encounters and they're enjoying time with their family. It was beautiful to witness. I'll tell you that much. It was really nice and refreshing to witness. He seems like such a humble guy. He was enjoying the two minutes that he had with his family and his children before it was game time. Unfortunately, we did lose that game, but that is something that will stick with me because I 
I was in the presence. Uh, I, I could almost touch Roy. It was pretty dang cool. And briefly, I spoke to his wife or girlfriend, like I had mentioned, about a uh, little skit that Roy had done on YouTube last year uh, when he was riding the golf cart. It was pretty cool. So, little fun fact there. Roy, I absolutely love. If you follow the hunt videos that the Jaguars have been putting out, which are absolutely incredibly choreographed and videographed. Uh, I think it's absolutely incredible what they've done. It's very artsy and uh, it looks like a masterpiece. It looks like poetry in motion. I can't wait to look back on these videos when we have that Lombardi hoisted up, you know, because that's only going to be, it's going to make it even that more magical. But if you follow the videos of the hunt, you'll see Roy Robertson Harris is a dog on that defense. He's a dog. He's a, he's a great run stopper. He's a great gap filler. He had a few sacks last year. I'm hoping that he develops in that category as well, of course, this year and increases those numbers. But his vocal, right, his, his leadership presence as just speaking, as the hype man almost, if you will. Um, when Trevor was really down on himself and the whole team was down on himself, uh, as far as we knew, during that Chargers game where, you know, it was the second or third largest comeback in history, Roy took it upon himself to tell Trevor, like, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, I know we started off absolutely awful. Keep doing what you're doing. We're, we got you. You know, we got your back. Our, the defense will stop. We'll make these stops that we have to make. You guys keep doing what you're doing and give us a chance. Get us back in the game. That is the epitome of teamwork right there, right? That is a perfect representation or an example of teamwork. It's a great representation or example of leadership. So, Roy, you absolutely deserve it. I am so proud that you have it. Last but not least, the fifth captain of the team on special teams. It was always the Jags. Dewey Wingard, maybe the most hated, maybe the most loved Jaguar. I think throughout the last year or two, he has been become more and more loved to the Jaguars fan base than hated. Um, I personally don't have any issue with him. I love his spirit. I love his energy. In the locker room, I love his energy in on the field itself. Is he the best defensive back? Is he the best special teams player? Absolutely not. But he does have that leadership. He took it upon himself to give himself that role. He is very vocal when it comes to uh, expectations and what he wants out of this team. And I love that. I love that. I really like that he took it upon himself to be the hype man in that situation and uh, that should just go to show you that it doesn't always have to be a all-out baller or starter that is going to encourage the unit as a whole. So, Dewey, you deserve that. I am so excited to see what you have, uh, what kind of results you bring to the table this year and this season. Our five captains, what do y'all think about those five? Are you ready for the season? Today is officially day one. We are, we're here. We made it. We're strapped in. Buckle up. Let's get it. Do it starts here. Week one. We ready.